been six weeks. You still hate your orthotics. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to take those chunks out of there? Yeah. Yeah. Do we fix the bunion at the same time? Is that the plan? Fix the bunion and take out the broken pieces. Okay. It's a pretty good size bunion. And it hurts out here. Can I hurt mm -hmm. it? It's been popping out more often than it did. Has it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get that out of here. Mild callus sub might help too. And generalized ligamentous laxity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So seven. Okay. So the way we fix it, because you're a little bit of a tweener, there's two ways to fix these bunions. We can take out the cartilage and fuse this, this little joint right here that just does this. Okay. Okay, and that's the most stable way to fix a bunion. And it's the most um, effective way to make sure a bunion doesn't come back. Okay. Okay. The second most effective is to go a little further down the bone and take a wedge out and close it down, put a screw across that. For a bunion your size, those are your two options. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's other options for people with smaller bunions, but given the callus, given how loose your ligaments are, I absolutely say, let's stabilize the foot a little bit, take away that joint, you're not going to miss it with as much motion as you have. Mm -hmm. Nobody misses it even with stiff feet. And, and I don't want this bunion to come back. I don't want to fix a bunion and I don't have 15 years to go back and go, oh, my bunion's back. Mm -hmm. Now, can it still happen? Yeah, it can still happen. I've seen it happen where we fix it, we fuse this joint here, and this whole operation, now this whole thing drips out, okay? So there's still a risk of the bunion coming back, and it's greater with your ligamentous laxity, but uh, it's a very, very small risk. What about with the flat, the flat feet um, in that whole, you know, pulling that, that toe out due to that? Is the toe separating because of the flat feet or because of the ligament, the, the big toe from the, the middle toe? Both are, so, so the flat feet are, it, it, it's a chicken or the egg thing, right? So the flat feet are flatter because the ligaments are relaxed, are all loose. Okay. And the flatter the feet, the more drifting is allowed to happen with the big toe joint, okay? Um, and that's the, that's the foot that the toe and the, the second one in is the one that falls asleep? On this foot. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. And your orthotics aren't comfortable, huh? You no, still got used to them? Are they better than, than a month ago? Um, not really. Not really? They still, where do they hurt? Um, in the arch. The arch still hurts. Let's see, stand up here. And face that direction. So, and your arch is hurt, do you think we should fix the flat foot? Maybe. Because that's, that's the other question, right? So if, if you say, well, the orthotics are fine, we could fix the bunion and then put you in orthotics. Stand on those. Um, whether we fix the whole flat foot or just the bunion, 
you're talking about six weeks non weight bearing. Boy, they look fine. How often do you wear them? Every single day. Just every single day? Every single day. All day? I think there's one she didn't wear. I'm sure. <coughs> Bless you. I, but that was it. I mean, she's we we had to get we got these shoes and she wears her Vans with them and she's she's chomping at the bit to get new shoes. But I'm just not ready until I know mm -hmm. um, that the that we have to accommodate the orthotics. We don't have to comment. You know, I just don't know what mm -hmm. I don't want to spend money yet until I know what to, what the what she needs to do. Now, when you say six weeks of non, would that be on both feet or just the right foot? Oh, that's one foot at a time. Okay. Yeah. Six weeks for that one, and it's probably at least six months until we can do the other one. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so, if we fix the whole foot, fix the flat foot, what I suggest we do, let's see how tight that heel cord is. Not, not terribly tight. Tighter than you'd expect, given your ligaments of laxity, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's fine. So we make an incision here. We fix this bun in through here. Okay. We make an incision here. We take the fracture fragment out. And then we make an incision here. And we move the heel bone over. Okay. And then we make another incision here. Okay, like this. Kind of goes like that. And we put a bone graft in there and we move the forefoot over this way. So we get the heel tilted this way, and then we get the forefoot over this way, and we bring this down this way. And that addresses the flat foot. But it's on, on just the bunion, what's the recovery time on just the bunion? The... It's the same for all of them. Oh, it is? Okay. Yes, yeah, so, so, you know, no matter what we do, we're going to cut the bones and we're going to screw them back together and it takes six weeks for them to heal back together before we can walk on them again. Okay. So if we just do the bunion, it's six weeks. If we do everything in six weeks. So this is... It doesn't add time. It's just kind of six weeks of, of not even being able to... I mean, it, what, when you say non-weight bearing, that's like uh, crutches or crutches, is that... Crutches, yep, yep. Okay. Actually, that is a little tight. You dry that a little bit. So then we, we go back here and we loosen this Achilles up just a little bit. My Achilles has been kind of tight. Yeah, yeah, it is tight. So it's a negative 10 on the Achilles. We loosen up the Achilles. Do the heel, do this, fuse this guy. Crutches, knee scooter, we have this thing called a freedom leg, if you want to see the freedom leg. You see the freedom leg? Sure. Um, as far as, not the bunion, but the other surgery for the flat feet, what is the, the recovery time is six weeks non-bearing, and then six months of no activity? Well, really, three months of no activity, and then you get back to activity. And I say six months before we can do the other one. Because you want to be really strong on the first one, right? Because it's going to it's gonna have to bear all your weight Yeah. before yeah. you do the second surgery. So this is the freedom leg. A lot of people like to wear it even if they don't have surgery because it looks that cool. <laughs> it's a big contraption. Wow. Yeah. 
Or we're two on New Year's. Yeah, two on New Year's. It was pretty cool. We <laughs> <laughs> really want to dress up. So we really want to do something like this when she's not in school? Well, I would take, yeah, if you did it, I would take two weeks where I just didn't have anything scheduled. Mm -hmm.